all you need to do is add these angles up to equal 360, okay? We know the angles of a circle add up to 360, so we're going to take all of this stuff, every single angle, so this one's 145, this is 105, 30, 40x, we're going to add them up to equal 360. Does everybody understand that? Okay, and that's because the angles of a triangle add up to 360. So when they give you everything, that's all you have to do. Let's see if I can move it up a little bit. There we go. Okay, and if we do that, we can solve for x. Again, for the first six problems, all you need to do is solve for x. You don't need to plug it back in. Let me look and see if there's another way to solve it. So let's go ahead and do that. 145 plus 105 plus 30. I'll do the x term last, right, because I can't combine it with the other terms. Plus 40x equals 360. I'm running out of room here. Okay, let's just add these first three together. So 145 plus 105 is 250 plus 30 is 280. And so that's, this is going to simplify to 280 plus 40x equals 360. Okay, what would you do from here, somebody? Yes? Uh, I was wondering, could I use the best subtract? You could subtract all that stuff, but it's easier to combine them first. Okay? Yes, you could subtract 145, subtract 105, subtract 30, but you're really doing more work. Okay? Now that you've combined them, you can subtract both sides by 280. All right, what's 360 minus 280? Okay, so we get 40x equals 80, almost there. What would you do next? Very good. Divide both sides by 40. So again, on whoops, on uh, the first six problems, that's all you have to do is just solve for x. In this case, x equals 2. I want to do uh, one more. It's actually going to be the last question on the worksheet, number 12.